Hello, today I'll be coding this animation. Let's get started. First of all, we're going to have a square element. Uh, then let's move on to the styling. And here we're going to have an edge length for this square. And let's set it in viewport units so that everything scales nicely. Now for the generic div, we're going to have both for this div element and its pseudo elements, so before and after. We're going to have position absolute then we're going to have a width that's equal to that uh, square edge length and the same value for the height so um, height and we're also going to set a content value just so that we can see stuff so uh, speaking of seeing let's set a background Uh, the next thing we're going to set top 50% and the same thing for the left volume. Okay, um, also we're going to set a margin that's going to be minus half the edge length. Okay, so now everything is dead in the middle so we can collapse this. And we're going to have in particular for the square divs, we're going to have for the before pseudo elements. We're going to have a uh, right 100% and we want to see them so we're going to set background something like this and then let's say we want to uh, rotate it around its um, right bottom corner so we're going to have transform origin 100% 100% and then we're going to have transform rotate And let's say it's going to be minus 60 degrees. And we're going to have something similar for the after. So let's see. After. And then we're going to have not right, but uh, top. Uh, then this transform origin is going to be uh, zero. Uh, here we're going to have a different color. And here we're going to have not rotate, but skew. Um, a skew along the x-axis so skew x uh, but the thing is we're going to have 30 degrees and also we don't want this um, to have these edges longer so we're going to need to scale them, uh, scale them back along the y-axis and this scale is by cosine of the skew angle which is minus 30 degrees so we can set the skew angle and let's say we're going to set it in radians and unitless at first. So that's going to be pi uh, over minus 6. And we're going to set on the HTML, we're going to set a custom property, which is this uh, skew along the x-axis. And we're also going to set a scale factor, which is cosine of this. And let's also set a background on the HTML. Okay, uh, now I'm going to set here and I'm going to need a calc because I need a unit. So uh, calc and it's going to be my AX value uh, times one radian because I need a unit. And here I'm not going to need any unit. I, I can just use it like that. FY. Okay. Uh, now, this uh, skew angle can go from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees, while this rotation angle goes from 0 to minus 180 degrees. So, if I want to get this rotation angle around the uh, z-axis relative to this skew angle, I'm going to need to um, add 90 degrees for pi over 2 and multiply the whole result with minus 1 and I'm going to need the unit so that's going to be minus 1 radian so that's going to be a calc minus 1 radian as I said and I'm going to have my ax volume uh, plus 90 degrees which is a half half of pi so I need to interpolate pi here okay and here I'm going to use that rotation volume 
So if I change this here, something like this, or three, or minus three. So you can see it all changes nicely. And the thing is, I can't animate this with keyframe animations. Well, I could, but I'd need a lot of keyframes. So I'm going to, I'm going to use a bit of JS. Um, so I'm going to have an animation duration. And then I'm going to have an animation function. And this is going to have a current time, which is zero by default. And I'm going to make this self-invoking. Okay. And here, uh, I'm going to have my AX angle. And this one needs to go from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees. And if I have the uh, cosine of uh, this uh, ratio times pi, this goes from uh, 1 to minus 1. So I need to, um, to multiply it with minus 0.5 pi. So minus, uh, minus 0.5 times pi. And I get the desired range. And the next thing that I need to um, make sure is that this value is always smaller. Um, the current time is always smaller than the animation duration. Okay, uh, now document body style. I need to set these values. Uh, set property. And I'm going to have this sum. Um, skew along the x-axis and then I'm going to have the scale along the uh, y-axis so fy and this one is going to be cosine of this value and finally I'm going to have request animation frame to bind this um, like this And, um, oh, this is why it doesn't work. That's the cosine. And now it works and we have a nice easy. Okay, now let's move on back to the structure a bit. And here we're not going to have a square. We're going to have a whole assembly and four times. And we add the square here. And now let's go back here. And we can collapse these because we're not going to need them again. And here we're going to have a transform. And this one is going to have a rotation. Rotate. And I'm going to have a calc here. So the index, i. A custom property which is 0 by default. Times 90 degrees. And then I'm going to have a translate. y. Minus uh, 100 okay so um, now the next thing that I'm going to do is set another background here so um, and also I'm going to have a loop so for I from 1 to 4 I'm going to have nth child I plus 1 and here within this loop, I'm going to set this custom property, the current index i. So, um, make it like this. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is have another translation, except this one is not going to be along the y axis, but along the x axis. And it's going to be like this. And what I need to do is move this from the uh, top right corner to the top left corner um, using a rotation. So I'm going to have this rotation is going to go from 0 to minus 180, which is precisely how this AZ value goes. So I'm going to use that one. So rotate that AZ value. And now I have this movement, but I don't want the squares rotating around their... Um, own central point. 
so I'm going to have a rotation to cancel this one. So um, it's going to be this, and here I'm going to have calc. So um, calc uh, minus one times that value, and this gives us the uh, the desired result. This is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any ideas for future videos, just drop them in the comments below or send them on Twitter. And until next time.